Do they know something we don't know? That's the Daily Mail. It's J Midnight, Midnight Hustle, Wall Street Boy, Bloodline Talk. Now look, American Titans, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, Jamie Dimon, JP Morgan, Chase CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, Meta. They've been selling billions of dollars of stock. Why? What do they know? Well, they know we can't stay at all-time highs forever. And I know everybody in the media, basically, and all the people around you is talking about NVIDIA, AI, tech, buy more, buy more. But look, the money is made when it changes hands from the people sucked into the hype to the people waiting on the other side, the vultures. This is Wall Street games, buddy. You got to be ready for this. So March, we got a sell-off coming. Why? Well, we got interest rates. We got an interest rate meeting coming up next week, March. Let's look at the little quick notes. We got the Federal Reserve worried about inflation and saying they might have to keep rates higher for longer. Now, remember, half of this bubble is driven let me not call it a bubble, even though it might dramatically end up exploding like one. Let's just call it this run-up. This run-up since October has been driven by everybody anticipating that we're going to cut rates back to zero, one percent again. Why? <laughs> I'm not going to say this 100% for show, but I'm pretty for show. A wise, smart, $100 million Wall Street type said the era of ever getting money at 1%, 2%, you'll never see it again. That's because the U.S. dollar is in, in problems. They can't afford to not support it by having some interest rates behind it. That means that when they loan dollars, it's worth something. You know what I mean? So. We can't have a USD that's worthless. Now look, we got Jamie Dimon coming out. He's saying the Fed should hold off on rate cuts as its credibility is at stake. Remember Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan. He's an insider. All right. What else we got going on? Oh, March of 2023. Remember the regional banks are falling because of all the the bonds on their portfolios, their commercial real estate, that bailout pro program that kept them alive is ending. So now we're going into market, market conditions, meaning we about to see who can stand on their own too without the Fed behind them, without them fully behind them. You know, they're always behind them, but the regional banks, at a certain time, we got to consolidate. That's the name of the game. You got to buy up the little ones. You know what I'm saying? Big bank, take little bank. <laughs> Big bang get bigger. All right. Now, how do you make money off this? Well, you can place place options trades called puts and bet the downside. Now, where would you do that? You see, we're getting back to all time highs here, right? 517, 518. Once we get up here again, we should start seeing a lot of volatility until this breaks down. And then it'll probably retest this bottom trend line. So once we pass below this trend line, you could really take the bottom of this candle at 5.11.13. Once it gets under here, you can begin to start thinking it's time to ride this reversal down. And the reason it's going to be more of a reversal, a sharp correction than a you know, sideways or a slow and steady downtrend is because of how long and how much was built up here. All that has to explode. <laughs> now, volume's going down. So the this is the typical thing of a rising wedge pattern. Now, when this does break down and it comes with a spike in volume selling, you're going to know it's real. Now, this could happen as soon as when the Fed has their meeting next week. 
we got the market calendar right here. FOMC interest rate decision, Wednesday, March 20th. This is when they're going to probably come out and tell the markets and be real hawkish. They're going to tell the markets, it's not, we might have to do less cuts. We might have to do two, maybe. You know, the market wants three, four. We might go down to one. One in a bad case scenario. If inflation keeps rising and unemployment stays around 3.9, expect the Fed to keep rates higher for longer. And that's going to disappoint the markets finally. How to trade rising wedge patterns. This is an example right here. If you believe the pattern will break down, you can short sell the security at the breakout point. That's when it crosses over the bottom trend. Your profit target would be the length of the wedge measured from the breakout point to the top of the wedge. Your target, your target on this, you might as well look at about 1280 on SPY. That's down here. This area right here will be your first real level of real support probably. Now, up here, if we do get lucky, the market, it doesn't happen as fast. You might get some chop right here and then a fall. But once it starts moving, it's going to start moving. And how you know how is because you just go back in time. Study. If we go back, we had a run up here. Major run up. We're talking about 2020, ran up the whole time besides Corona, ran up 2020 all the way through 21, had the first correction, booms. This is where see this is where the volatility starts when you start hitting these type of highs, volatility. Now look, once you hit that trend, once you hit once you hit this high, this was when it finally said enough's enough. Now, once it started going, you got this little bounce that I was just talking about, you might get. But once it starts falling, and this is a daily chart, once it starts falling, it starts falling, and then you get little bounces. Boom. But look how much ground you've covered from here to here. This is 480 to 410. That's 70. 70 points from 24th of February 22. About, yeah, it was about a month. That ain't nothing. 70 points. So be ready for the speed when it happens. And remember, this is the game now because we don't have a real economy now. It's really a Wall Street <laughs> pump and dump economy. And Thomas Jefferson warned about this back in the day. He said, if the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations that will grow up around the banks will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. Remember, you will own nothing and be happy. Remember that? Charles Schwab. I mean, I said Charles Schwab. Klaus Schwab, Klaus Schwab World Economic Forum. They're telling you you're gonna own nothing and be happy, and you're pr and you're happy about it, huh? Oh, I don't need a car. We just Lyft will give us cars. We don't we don't need them. They'll give us rides. The issuing power should be taken from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. Right now, our U.S. government is controlled by a private central bank and private central bankers internationally. Our private central bank is the Federal Reserve. We're not indebted the most to China. No, we're indebted to the private central bank of the United States, which is called the Federal Reserve. That's who we owe the most money to. Now, look at this. If the American... No, one second, that ain't it. I believe that banking institutions, Thomas Jefferson, are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. 
already they have raised up a moneyed aristocracy. That's what we have now, the money class that has set the government at defiance because it controls the government now. The issuing power of money should be taken away from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. So, hey, we ain't got to go on and on about this. This is your warning right here to be ready when the reversal happens. So put your SQQ in, your SQQQ calls, short tech, get money off this collapse, all right? Now remember, the game is to be sold, not told. But guess what? It's 2024. And I know 90% of people are not really involved in Wall Street games. So to survive in this type of environment where inflation rises and your wages stay the same, you have to learn new skills. So if you don't know how to buy an option contract or if you don't have the patience to hold on to your cash, wait till the collapse starts. Wait, wait as it rides down, rides down. When there's maximum fear and people are saying, don't buy stocks, don't buy into that, don't buy into that, that's when you start buying your sh your shares, all right? And then you ride it back all the way up, probably into the end, of, probably around election time, they'll be, they'll be back on an uptrend, a little short something, you know what I'm saying? You never know, but always buy when there's blood in the streets. Remember that. Why? Because that's what the boys do. It's the game. Baron Rothschild, an 18th century British nobleman and member of the Rothschild banking family, is credited with saying that the time to buy is when there's blood in the streets. Now, listen, we don't adopt these mentalities. We just ride the wave of it. You know what I'm saying? Because in real life, we use our blessings, like my blessing might be being able to understand the information and get it to you. And your blessing might be you know how to cook food <laughs> so you know what i'm saying if you can add another skill to that making money like this betting against the market take that money and invest in your business and that's how america keeps going the real america the people the people of america because they want you fighting each other they want you watching cnn and msnbc and fox news we don't do that we don't watch tv we keep our head up, and we keep the Lord first. Yeshua HaMashiach, the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, 2024. And remember, no money matters if you ain't got God with you. Because it's that season. It's that time. Stay up, Jamin Knight.